Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build this really cute log cabin. It's inspired by a lot of the cabins that you'll see in the Smoky Mountains. And um, so it's really adorable and it has that historical representation of a log cabin. This is an intermediate to advanced uh, follow along. So if you are a newer builder, it might take a few tries to get it right. But the nice thing about this cabin and the way that we're building it is it's very forgiving as far as where you place the planks because it doesn't have to look perfect. It actually looks better if the planks are a little off centered. You'll need your planks and an open space. So go ahead and grab those and let's get started. We're gonna start out with a three by three grid and then laying planks on top of that a little bit further in so it has more of that log cabin effect. Then I'm adding another layer. It's almost as if I'm putting the planks over the seams of each of the ends of the planks. And if you look, I left a little bit of a gap in the middle there because that's where we're gonna put the door frame. Now I'm building the window. and adding planks around it, like the frame of the windowsill. Then as you lay the planks to the side, it's I'm pushing some out and pulling some in, so it again makes that log cabin look. Now moving on to the other window on the other side. It doesn't have to be right in the middle of that plank that you're setting it on, again, because it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm making the door frame, so it's two planks upright and then three planks inside for the door frame. Then turning it around, I'm just building out the back of it a little bit more. And if you need to shift some planks a little bit, that's totally fine. I'm going all the way up until I reach the top of the window and then building all the way across until I reach the top of the door frame. Now I'm moving on to the roof, so I'm laying 15 planks across. It gives a nice, clean surface for the roof. Then going to one end of the roof, right in the middle, I'm placing essentially a rectangle and then building a window right in the middle of that. and then building up the planks on both sides of that to um, create the support for this slanted roof. Then two planks on top and then one plank on the end to help support those slanted planks that I'm placing now. You can always add an extra plank on top if it needs a little more weight to support those planks. Then in the middle of the roof, I'm building 10 planks up, two planks side by side. And then you add the end and line it up with the other slanted planks that you've built. And then the two planks in the middle. Now I move on to the porch and I'm just laying four planks flat. And then at the ends of those four planks across, 
If there are planks that are sticking out directly from the house, you can just put those, set those planks right on top, or you can add another plank as an extra support. Then two planks um, towards the house and one plank on the outside, and then alternating the planks to make it look more rustic. If you want to build a chimney, you can remove a few planks from the back of the roof and add some planks to make it look like a chimney. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can't wait to see what you create. Thanks for watching.